Hey, Anita, thank you very much for your question and for taking the time to submit it. I don't think there's any doubt in people's minds that being in Europe has been good for the Irish economy. It's been good for jobs and all the various developments in the European Union have been good for our country in that sense. We're not claiming that this stability treaty offers any sort of magic wand solution. There is no doubt that Ireland's unemployment crisis continues and there's a huge amount of work to be done. However, I think you've seen some very significant progress made over the last number of months. You've seen companies voting confidence in Ireland, companies announcing new jobs, companies investing significant money. And what we're all hearing, all citizens of Ireland are hearing, from business leaders, be they in America, be they in the Far East, or be they in other European countries, is they want a message from Ireland that Ireland is open for business, that Ireland's taking the steps it needs to take to put its economy back on the right track. And I think that's why there's an awful lot of people who aren't usually associated with politics at all coming out and asking for a yes vote. Business leaders, a range of business organisations, people involved in foreign direct investment. We're hearing this message from the likes of the Minister for Jobs as he goes and travels around the US meeting with people who are looking for opportunities to expand and invest in Ireland. So this treaty sends out a simple message. Ireland is open for business, Ireland is ready for growth, and Ireland is taking the steps necessary to put its economy back on track and to create jobs for people of my generation and other generations.